Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Hillflip here. I'm just going to so show you some quick features on Windows 7 that I find pretty useful. So let's go ahead and get into this. The first one on my list is Jumpstart. Jumpstart is somewhat like the quick launch for Windows Vista. They took that away and replaced it with this. It's not as good, but it's pretty useful. Now, if you if you're like me and you use Internet Explorer sometimes and there's a website you recently went to but you don't want to have to open it up and type it in again if you just right click it'll show you all your recent websites that you've been to just click on it it does the same for anything else such as program files media player and all that crap so that that's pretty cool for me the next one is the arrow stuff so if you have a bunch of crap open and let's say out of all these files you only want this one open if you shake it it'll close all of them and then if you shake it again shake it'll reopen and some other useful thing is if you have two windows and you wanna show them side by side just drag them to each corner of the screen but if you're like me and you don't like that I, I hate it it messes up a lot if you just right click the taskbar and go to show windows side by side it'll do it for you so I hate the drag thing and if you want to undo it just undo so that's pretty cool um the next on my list is something called snipping tools you can find it by going to search and type in snip yes yeah, snip and it's the first one what snipping tool does is basically take your screen and you can cut anything out of the screen like let's say I want the back of this car all I do is drag and drop and then it'll edit what I snipped out and make it into a picture so you can edit it, email it, do whatever. And you can like, I don't know, draw on it if you get bored. But that's pretty cool. The next one is useful to people who are having problems with their Windows 7 and aren't quite sure how to fix it or what to do. If you go to search, type in PSR, should be the first one. It's called Problem Steps Recorder. If you open that, what this does is, if you're having a problem, let's say you're connecting an MP3 player or an iPod, and it won't read it, or it says something's wrong, or it's not compatible, all you do is hit start record, reenact the problem that you're having, stop recording, and then it'll give you an option, it'll email it to Microsoft, they will watch it, and try to help you with the problem and get back to you. So that's pretty useful to people that don't know what to do. Oh my god, I know it's running slow. My god, every time I record it runs slow. <laughs> but yeah. So that's it's pretty cool. And I think that's it. Um if you'd like to request a video, just send me a message. I'll gladly make a video for you. And I'm also giving away a version of Windows 7 Ultimate and Windows 7 Home Premium. I got my hands on some um, activation codes that I don't need. Oh my god, go away. But if you or a friend wants Windows 7, just be the first to comment. If you want the code, just comment, I want code. And I'll gladly give it to you. Alright, this is Hillflip here. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.